Hello everyone. So in today's video, we are going to discuss about the syntax editor. So while doing the scripting, syntax editor plays a very important role. So if you will utilize all the functions available in syntax editor, it will be really helpful for you while doing the scripting. So there are uh, many functions available uh, to make use of basically I would say many utilities available. So you have table syntax editor, then comment selected code, then format code. So making the indentation proper, you can use the code formatter then replace. If you want to replace a particular uh, word or a particular uh, function from your code, you can make use of that if you want to use replace all then you can use search then toggle it the script editor in full screen mode and toggle off then you have help available then to save the code you have save syntax check you have and script editor so uh, let me just quickly uh, jump into the service plan instance to showcase you and explain each one of them so I have opened a business tool uh, form here. Now I will just go to advanced and here you have your script editor. So the first one is you can disable or enable syntax highlight. So if I click here, you can see it's a normal script box. If you will again click on this one, it will give you the syntax uh, script box. Then you have a toggle command. So you can, if you are writing a code, let me just put some code here. Current dot set about expense. So uh, this code might not be correct. I am just putting some uh, dummy code here to just showcase you the features. So I have three lines of code here. So if I want to comment, I can normally use forward slash for one line, two line. I can go one by one. If I want to comment uh, all the lines or maybe a section of code, then I can select those and click on this. can click on this comment one or again you can make use of the shortcut as well that is control and power slash next one you have is the code format so when you are writing a code you, know, you might forget to indent it properly or you are writing a huge code you cannot go line by line and do the indentation proper so for that you can select your code and uh, you can format it so a section of code you can format or if you will click normally then it will automatically make the indentation proper for the whole code next you have is uh, replace so if you want to replace a function you want to replace a word in your code then you can use replace so replace uh, replaces one by one it replaces the next occurrence so let me just type here current now it will ask uh, with what you want to replace it so let's say i will type here test now it will replace it will ask you then it will replace so it has replaced six because it was there now it is showing you the next occurrence so if you will click again yes it will replace the next if you will click again then it will replace this occurrence, this occurrence. so it will replace one by one and every time it will replace the next occurrence so next you have is the replace all so it will replace all the words or all the functions with the same name in one go so let's just use this one as well. So we have current here. We want to replace it with test. And just observe here. I will press enter. 
and it will replace all the current with test in one go. Then we have search. We can make use of the search function. You can type any word which you want to search. You can press enter. Then it will highlight the search uh, keyword. Then you have uh, find next and uh, find previous. So here you can see the highlighted text you have. Then it will go to the next one. If you want to go to the previous one, you can make use of this previous so next you have is the toggle full screen so you want to use it in full mode then you can make use of it i always prefer to use it in full mode because it becomes large and i can easily uh, see my code up and down so if you want to go back again you can click on this again and you will go up full screen and go back now next you have is help so all the help help available here all the shortcuts like for toggle full screen you have control m for starting a search you have control f then find next you have control g find a previous one you can have control shift g then to replace something you have control e to replace all you have control semicolon to toggle command you have control forward slash for scripting assistance you can make use of control space then for showing the description you can use control plus j so all these shortcuts are available for these utilities so you can click on question mark and you can see it then next you have save so save basically uh, to save your code so one way you can click on the context menu and use save or use submit or the update button will also be available since your code will be submitted so you can use these or you can directly click on save in the syntax editor it will also save your code so it has saved the form now uh, you have the syntax check so if you want to toggle the syntax check you can make use of that then you have a script debugger so while clicking on this you can make use of a script debugger so uh, it is a very useful uh, i would say utilities so you can make all use of these utilities while coding you can remember the shortcuts you can also use the shortcuts for these utilities it will uh, really improve your code writing skills or your code formatting like indentation code will look good so try to practice these utilities thank you for watching the video uh, please like share and subscribe i will be back with the next video